On this weird year that is 2020, America's leading rock star is an epidemiologist. So. So here's my first we are in a very, very difficult situation. It's quite problematic. I have said that publicly many times, not to scare people, but to bring a reality check to where we are. If you look at it, we have 10 million infections in the United States, almost 250,000 deaths. We've had 60,000 hospitalizations. And now, last count, we had 143,000 infections in a single day. When I testified before the Congress four months ago, I said if we did not get control of this, that we could reach 100,000 infections a day. And people thought I was being hyperbolic. And now look what's happening. That's the bad news. The, the, I think the encouraging news that people need to understand that public health measures, not lockdown of the country, but public health measures that are rather simple and easy to understand, the universal wearing of masks, the physical distancing, the avoiding congregate in crowded places, outdoors better than indoors, washing hands. It sounds simple in the context of this ominous outbreak, but in fact it can turn it around, and that's what we really need to do. Spread of this thing. Where are we in the cycle? Well, data speaks for itself. We are in a very, very difficult situation. It's quite problematic. I have... And an infectious disease means the entire country. We did not approach it that way. We had too much individual approaches towards how we were going to handle the outbreak. So our baseline never came down to the low level that we wanted it to be. So when community spread came in as we try to open the country, it just soared right up. Is there, in your mind, is there hard data, hard evidence? But we are fortunate because the first one out of the gate is more than 90%, probably close to 95% effective. So what we're hoping is that those who have vaccine hesitancy who are skeptical about a vaccine, will see that the efficacy of this is so high that they may change their mind about wanting to get vaccinated. The other part of the good news is that there are other vaccines, some that are almost identical, such as the Moderna product, which will be evaluated in the next week to a few days, that we anticipate, though you never want to get ahead of yourself, that it will be as good or close to that. If that's the case, then you have two of them. How do we move the needle on that? Well, you've got, you've got to continually try and outreach them and do what we call community. If this was 15, 20 years ago, it would have taken a few years to get to where we are now. The idea that you went from a recognition of the virus on July 9th with the sequence to a phase one trial, literally 60 some odd days later, to a phase three trial a few months later, to a vaccine that we're going to be giving to people next month is extraordinary. ...them and do what we call community engagement. I mean, there are going to be a core of people who will not take a vaccine no matter what.